Welcome everybody, my name is Bree Naomi and I am your yin and yang movement guide. Please remember there are many different ways to practice yoga, pilates and movement. Many different styles, teachers and teachings. I will be your guide, however your biggest teachers are your body and your breath. Please be mindful of any injuries you may have and remember to adjust the exercises to suit your body. Try not to take things too seriously and let's have some fun. Welcome everybody. Let's get started down on our backs today. Knees pointing up to the sky, so feet about hip width apart, planted into the earth. Arms down by the side. Let's focus on some breath work here. So for Pilates, it is breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. We call it pursed lips. So it's just a little slice opening. So we try to breathe in for about three seconds in, three seconds out for maintaining nice con uh, concentral. <laughs> Concentration and control, that is the word that I made up, concentrol for that, <laughs> and it just slipped out once again. So uh, yes, if you have been to some of my classes, I do tend to make up words. All right, let's get started. <laughs> so centering, we have this physical center from which all motion proceeds, the powerhouse. So we want to switch on that core and that abdomen, keep the belly drawing in and holding the spine in a neutral position. So let's place our hands on the outer edges of our hip joint. So just feel into it and just rock forward and back here. So we don't want to rotate forward or back. We want to keep it nice and neutral. And you can place your fingertips into your lower part of the belly there and just cough. You'll feel these muscles jump out at you, the TAs, the transverse abdominis. That's what we want to activate by drawing the belly in towards the spine. So let's come into our first exercise, knees and legs up into tabletop position. Let's bring the arms out to a cactus, open through the chest, take an inhale and then exhale both knees over to the right. Inhale at the bottom, exhale back to center. So always moving on the exhale over to the other side when you're ready. So we're twisting through the spine here. So keep going, just rotating from one side to the other. But we want to be moving through that center, that powerhouse. Like you're driving your legs with the activation and strength of your core here, your belly. So move with your breath. Inhale and exhale back to center. And let's hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little rock from side to side. Next exercise, just cycling the legs. So pull that belly in. Extend the right, bring the left knee in, vice versa. So just cycling the legs, keeping the head and shoulders down for this first round. Breathing in and breathing out. Good, just finding a soft gaze somewhere, either straight up, down. Ensuring that you're, again, focused on that center space. Pointing the toes, nice and smooth, fluid movement with the legs. And the thumbs can be just a little bit supporting underneath the glutes there if you need to. Bring the knees in now. Give yourself a little rock and roll. And we set up for round two here. So keep going the way that you are here. Or you can come up into a contraction where you lift the head and shoulders up. And then you can... Place the hands on top of the knees and guiding in and out there. So two options, either head and shoulders stay down, especially if you feel any tension in your neck. Otherwise, contraction just gives it that little bit of extra strength. And again, breathing in, breathing out, do what you can. If you need to rest, go for it. Otherwise, try and challenge yourself today. Good, really building that strength. Back to the breath, breathing in, breathing out, navel to the spine. Good. Take a little rest, rock and roll. You can circle the knees out by keeping the big toes together. This is called bilateral femur circles. It's a little massage for the spine and then opposite direction. It's also still a core activation. So we're bringing the soles of the feet together now, knees out wide, coming into a variation of a crunch here in a butterfly position. So we're inhaling, then exhaling, lifting the shoulders up into that crunch position. Keep the elbows nice and wide here and try to refrain from pulling yourself up. So we're activating from that 
top part of the core. Shortening the distance between the ribs and the hips by drawing that belly in. And your exhales bring you up, your inhales take you down. So the exhale is obviously a little bit quicker here in this exercise. Again, do as many as you can. Stay with me or take a rest when you need to. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Good, keep going. Good, a few more. Again, spine is neutral here. Good, rest. Take a few moments, sweep a few deeper breaths now in and out through the nose. Reset. And we set up for another round. Again, keeping the elbows wide. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Keep going. So going at your own pace. If you want to take it a little slower, go for it. If you want to speed it up. And it's more Pilates. We actually come into this more slow controlled movement rather than how many repetitions we can do, which actually is harder. So try it out. Slow it down. Be really mindful of the way that you're moving. And then maybe speed it up and just notice the difference. So keep going. Inhale, exhale up. Good. Let's hug the knees in now. Take those bilateral femur circles. Circle the knees out and then in. Preparing yourself for the next exercise. I think we've got some leg raises here. So arms down by the side. Thumbs just underneath the glutes. Knees can be bent and you're just staying in a top range, especially if you've got any sensitivities in the spine or full variation here is legs nice and straight inhale and exhale down both legs towards the earth getting as low as you can just an inch and then back up so inhale up exhale down both legs come down inhale up exhale down legs nice and strong good take a longer breath so inhale exhale down inhale up Exhale down. Belly button towards the spine. So there's a couple of ways that we can activate through the core. We can also push the belly out. So we do that when we're lifting weights and things like that. With this practice, we want to draw it all in, like we're sucking it all into that center line and keeping that really lower part of the core active. Let's go for round two. Inhale, exhale, and let's add some circles if you like or keep with that same variation. So we can inhale, exhale down, and then inhale, circle out. Exhale down, circle out, and then we can swap it around. So just experimenting with adding another level to this exercise. Otherwise, legs just straight up and down. So now you can... Inhale and exhale, circle around. Inhale back up, connect the toes, circle back around. Otherwise, again, just keeping it up and down. See how that works for you and your body. You might get a few hip clicks there too, so you can move around that. It's not necessarily a bad thing. So let's sway and move through the hips now and take a break. Good, coming into our next exercise. So scissor kicks, classical Pilates exercise, taking your hands, clasping on the calf muscle. If you can't quite reach, you grab the thigh. So stay away from the knee joint, pointing the toes. Head can stay down or up in contraction. And we're literally just kicking our legs like scissors down, up, trying to keep the legs as straight as possible. And remember, if your head and shoulders get a little sore or tense, we're not using those muscles in the core quite as much as we need to to take that pressure off the neck, or it might be a case of just building that strength up. So rest the head and shoulders down if you need to. Otherwise, stay up and keep on scissor kicking those legs. Point the toes. And breathing in and out. Nice, smooth breaths. Take a rest. 
sway those knees, bring the feet a little wider, just wish wash your knees from one side to the other. And let's set up for round two. Head and shoulders down or head and shoulders up in contraction. You choose, keep it smooth, keep it fluid. And you want to hear your breath as well. So it's like a whisper that comes out. Good. Keep going and then rest. <laughs> All right. Shake those hips and legs about, whatever you need to do. Now we're coming into a figure four position. So right foot on the left thigh. And we're going to do some obliques here. So we're going to cross over. So the left elbow is going to come towards the right knee. So take a moment. So we're breathing in and then exhale. Come up and crunch to the side. So getting as close as you can. Left elbow to the right knee, staying in that figure four position. Inhale, exhale, crunch, inhale, down. Exhale, crunch, inhale, down. Good. Keep going. Get as close as you can. So working on those side oblique muscles. Toning out those love handles. Good. <laughs> Take a break now and we come over to the other side. Left foot on the right thigh, figure four position. And now the right elbow is going towards the left knee. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Inhale, exhale, crunch. Good. Just getting as high and as far over to the side as you can. Breathe. Good. And rest. Sway and release. Okay, second set's going to be a little bit different for this one for the obliques. So let's take our hands behind the head again. Elbows out nice and wide. Left elbow is going to meet the right knee. Left leg is extending in and out. So staying in that crunch position. Try to connect. Inhale, exhale, extend that left leg. Inhale back. Good. Just try to make that connection. Stay in that side crunch position. And we're just moving in and out with that left leg. Good. This one's a tough one. You'll feel it. And swap sides. Right elbow to the left knee. Right leg extending in and out. Good. Inhale and exhale to extend the leg. Inhale back in. Beautiful. Keep going. And relax. Good. Sway the knees. Release the hips, the spine. Hands behind the head again. Fingertips lightly. Elbows out wide. And we go for full bicycle crunches now. So we call them crisscrosses in Pilates. We're going from that side crunch position, extending the opposite leg, moving over to the side. Good. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. And we're just continuing that movement. Making sure the breath is smooth and the belly is drawing in. And rest. That one will get the heart rate up a little bit. Well done. Just do what you can. All right. We're flipping over to the belly now. Just place your hands underneath your forehead. Take a moment. Just breathe it out. Working on a little bit of back strength now. So the powerhouse also includes the spine. And working on these Pilates exercises and core strength exercises, not only, again, will strengthen the belly and the spine, but also takes a lot of pressure off the spine. So if you're someone that has had um, 
any issues with your spine or any sensitivities, then this will help you. So hands down by the side, palms facing in, lift the chest and the legs if you can. So we're activating and strengthening those muscles of the spine. This is called a dart position. We're adding the legs into it. Try to get your thighs even up. So we're lengthening the legs back and lifting the head and shoulders up. Let's take a rest and we'll try that again. One ear to the mat. So arms down by the side, palms facing in. Legs nice and strong. We inhale to raise up and try to look up towards the sky. So your body follows where your eyes go. Take a few breaths, squeeze the glutes. Everything is active here, working on those muscles though through the spine. Smile. Lift a little bit higher, legs, chest, shoulders rolling down and back, and then rest. Good. Take a few breaths. Breathe it out. Maybe notice those sensations that you do feel around that lower part of the spine. Let's come up into a child's pose just to stretch and lengthen through the spine now. So hips back to the heels, big toes to touch, arms stretching forward. Take a few of those more deep and nourishing breaths here to reset. All right, now we're coming into some planks. Forearm plank to start with here. So elbows underneath the shoulders, clasping the hands. Legs back, toes tucked. And we actually want to bring the hips down even a little bit more than what you can see here for me. So we want to try and create a line from the heels to the shoulders and press out through the back of the shoulder blades. So hips even down slightly. Belly drawing in rather than letting it, letting it go and press out. Squeeze the butt muscles. The whole body is working here. Strengthening the arms, the legs, the core, the shoulders. So neck nice and long, just gazing down, holding your forearm plank as long as you can here. You can always drop the knees if you need to. Breathing in and breathing out. Drop those hips a little bit more. Smile and release. Child's pose again. Four. Knees together. Take a variation. Arms down by the side just to release through the arms. Planks are amazing for building the entire body, toning the entire body and strengthening. So second set here, again, stacking the elbows underneath the shoulders, hips down one line, and we're going to do some obliques again here. So you can sway, roll over the toes from one side to the other. Inhale, exhale down, inhale, exhale down, or you can just hold that plank. And again, the hips even lower. Right, you should feel this through the side. Try to maintain some balance here. If you're swinging all over the place, maybe come back to just hold the plank position. Again, I mean, to have a little bit of control with this. Knees down, child's pose again. Knees together, arms down by the side. Rest, give those arms a little break. Good, what's up next? Let's come into a full plank. So fingers spread nice and wide. Shoulders directly over the wrists. Toes tucked, one line again from your heels to your shoulders, pressing out through the scapula at the back there, holding, breathing, looking straight down. Belly drawing in and up. 
legs nice and strong. Again, you can do this by dropping the knees as well if you need to. Breathing in and breathing out. Drop the knees, let's take a break. Sit back to the heels and just take a few shoulder rolls here. Shoulders up to the ears, roll them back. It's all over, almost. <laughs> all right. We have round two of our full plank position. And if you like, come into some crisscrosses here. So opposite knee towards the opposite elbow. Swapping over so you can do this fast or slow and controlled. So knee to the opposite elbow and back. Just crisscrossing over from side to side. And rest. Again, that gets the heart rate up a little bit. Roll the shoulders out. Good, any movement to release. Now come down onto the belly. Let's take a little stretch out. So for this one, you can have your left arm straight out or into a cactus position or a 90 degree angle. Press your right palm into the earth next to your chest and swing your right leg up and over, bend the knee. And you should feel that nice stretch through the chest of the left. So left ear is down to the mat. And if your right leg is kind of just hanging in the air, you can always place it down more towards the left leg or make any variation you need to. Swapping over to the other side now, right arm out. Good. Left fingertips or palm into the earth as you take that left leg up and over behind you. So it's also a nice twist for the spine. But really, really good to open the shoulders and the chest up here. And a lot of these exercises can be heavy in the arms. So a good chance to just release here, especially if you're doing a lot of those planks. Let's press back now, come into all fours, take a little movement and swirl into the spine, wildcat, and then sit back onto the heels, taking another stretch for the bicep and arm here, left hand over, right hand to hug in towards the heart. Spine nice and straight, taking some nice breaths here. You can close the eyes, feel that nice juicy stretch. And then opposite side, right hand comes across the body, left arm to make that almost right angle and drawing it in towards the chest. Stretching ever so important after we strengthen and activate through the muscles. Come back into all fours again, roll through the spine, maybe some cat cows here. Left leg steps forward now in between the two palms. Nice runner's lunge stretch. So you can hang out there on top of your left thigh or your hands can be down on the earth here. If you're kind of sitting up in this position, sinking the hips down, you'll find a really deeper stretch in the hip flexors. And then you can take it over to the side. So right hand comes down, left hand on the left knee. Gazing over the left shoulder, lowering the hips even more and taking that little twist as well here. Left foot can roll over to the side in this one or just stay in that same runner's lunge. Good. Now inhale, exhale, take the hips back and curl over. Inhale forward, runner's lunge. Exhale, take it back. Extend that leg or keep a knee, uh, bend in the knee if you need to. Inhale forward, exhale back, curl and round. Or if you need to stay up onto the fingertips, listen up to your body. Let's take that left leg back, roll it out. Good. And opposite side, right leg comes forward, runner's lunge, sinking the hips down. 
taking the left knee as far back as it will allow you to. You can clasp the elbows here and just have your arms resting on your thigh. And you can stay here or take it over to that twist. So left hand can drop down, right hand can guide the right knee out to the side. As you gaze over your right shoulder, just bringing those hips down on the left side a little bit more. And again, you can roll over to the side of the foot. Coming back to center, inhale, exhale, hips come back. Inhale, forward, runner's lunge, exhale, back. So trying to strengthen and lengthen that front leg, your right leg, toes flex to the roof. Inhale, exhale. Taking the right leg back now. Rolling it out. Cat cows, exhale, inhale, down, roll the shoulders, blades back. Exhale, come into your cat position. And then let's come over into a seated position. Just a little bit more of a stretch for the upper body. Good, take a moment. Notice how the body's feeling now. Let's take the right hand down, the left hand up and over, taking that nice full side body stretch, either gaze down or up. Just coming down to wherever that is for you and your body. Left hand down, right hand up and over. Again, side body stretch. Beautiful. Coming back to center. Little one for the neck now, right ear to the right shoulder, and then just walk your left fingertips out to the side. Feel that nice little juicy stretch for the neck. And opposite side, left ear to the left shoulder, walking the right fingertips out. Beautiful, coming back to center, rolling those shoulders now up to the ears, down and back. And then opposite direction, up and forward. Any little functional movement. And then making sure you've got a little lift through your sternum. The belly is drawing in. They say we want to activate about 20% through the belly at all times when we're doing any type of exercise through the day, any activity. So remembering that. Working from your center, your powerhouse. Thank you all for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed the class. Please leave any feedback, comments, concerns, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.